Dajahao. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. Thank you for joining me as we study and learn beautiful Chinese. The beauty of this channel is that we're all learning together. Alright, so continuing, this is uh, about culture. Continuing talking about talking about su the subject uh, shopping. A lot of girls love this. Okay, but specifically duty-free shopping. There are more than 150 duty-free stores in 90 mainland cities, including Beijing, Shanghai, Qingdao, and Dalian. Since China joined the World Trade Organization in 2001, these stores have lost some of their competitive edge as import tariffs have fallen substantially. Purchases do not come with an international warranty and there is no 30-day money-back guarantee. That said, the government is continue, uh, the government is committed to duty-free stores and improvements in product lines. Conditions of sale and overall competitiveness are anticipated. All right, now, okay, for my own uh, for my own practice, I might include reading the Mandarin, Chin the Chinese characters in Mandarin, just because um, <laughs> before doing this video, I made sure I knew what these characters were, these six characters, what they were in Chinese. Um, so I might do that once, once in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I might do that every once in a while. So next, we're going to go to the um, video, the uh, the phrase of the video. This this is a phrase. Tada jie jie, tada jie jie. So it's not a complete sentence. It's not a question. It's not a uh, um, thought. It's just a it's a phrase. Tada jie jie. And next, we're gonna go to um, the characters. This is. Yo, it means especially or particularly. This one is li. Uh, to undergo, these are the three verbs. It means three verbs. To undergo, to experience, and to go through. Which, you know, kind of basically the same thing. I, I put those up there because they have very, very similar meanings. The third character uh, is ya. That's right, yeah. This is also a verb to press, to push, or hold, or weigh down. So to push down, to hold down, or to weigh down. The fourth character is yan. It's, wow, we have a bunch of verbs here today. So another character with three meanings in the verb. Three verbs, three verbs, to detest, to be sick of, and to be tired of. You know, they all, they all have very similar meaning in two uh, as, as well. All right, this fifth character is jian. Jian means, uh, for a noun, point, tip, or top. And the adjective, pointed, or sharp, which, you know, something that has a point, or pointed, or is sharp, usually if it's pointed, it's probably sharp, right? It's going to be like a sharp rock, a pointed rock, uh, rock, pointed rock, or a sharp rock, <laughs> a jagged, a jagged rock, right? That's going to be uh, pointed. And the last one is... See if I can remember Chen. Chen? Yeah, I think I said the right time. Um, dust, dirt, or earth. Okay. Now let's go over the stroke order. The first character, especially or particularly. The first stroke. Second stroke. Third stroke, fourth stroke. 
and the uh, the next one to undergo to experience and to go through so stroke one Stroke two, stroke three, and then stroke four. So this one has three directions, three directions, just one stroke. One, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, the third character? To press, uh, to push down, to hold down, to weigh down. I did that because of the lack of space there. So, to push down, to hold down, or to weigh down. All right. Also, like the first, like the second character, the first and second strokes are the same. Stroke one. Stroke two. Now this is where it's different. Three. Four, five, six. Yeah, that that can that goes all the way down. That connects. So this right here is ground. That's earth. We we went over that before. This character before by itself, without the top part. Yeah. <laughs> and a little and a dot. So the ground ground on the bottom and, and a dot. The next one, number four, is to detest, to be sick of, or to be tired of. Also, so the second, third, and fourth characters have the first and second stroke. They're the same. They're all the same order. So the same, the top one first, and then that, and then that's the second stroke. Now, stroke three. It's not all the way out. Okay. Stroke four, five, and six. Okay. All right. The next one is point or tip or top. And then it also means, as an adjective, pointed or sharp. So this, if you, if you notice, the top part is small this character for small the bottom part is the character for big so first stroke second stroke third stroke fourth fifth sixth okay and then also and the last one, the last character, just like the first, uh, the fifth character and the sixth character have both have small on top. So, and then small and then dirt are, are ground. Small and ground. Small, stroke one, stroke two, stroke three, stroke four, stroke five. Stroke six. All right. So, oh, nice. That's stay. <laughs> I hope that stays. So we have anywhere from what? Two, three, four. Four to six strokes. So these are four. This one. That's. One, two, three, six. This one should be, that one should be six. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so three, three, or sorry, four, four, six, six. Six, six. So two of them are four strokes, and the rest of them are six strokes. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, 
Um, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I want to just just want to say thank you to all my subscribers who have subscribed. And uh, tell your friends and family and neighbors. And uh, probably in about four videos, we're about four videos away. After this video, we get four about four more to go. We will be uh, on. That will be like 200 and a little, little over 250 characters that we've studied so far. And uh, I'm probably we'll probably just stop there for a little while and uh, I will make a mark on um, in that in that in my personal records and we will catch up we'll do some more characters later but after we get done with those I think we're gonna do some radicals we're gonna do some radical characters like like I was telling you here this has two parts to it small and on top and big on bottom so like, like this one has um, in the middle or on the bottom let's call it on the bottom this is strength and the the two on the top that means um, if we went over that one that one's factory or mill or plant so sometimes they work together and make a real good sound. But here's what I'll, I'll tell you that the reason you got one part tells you what it's going to sound like. The other part, the radical, tells you what the character is about. So that's why we're, we're going to go over some radicals. We're going to, I might, I probably won't teach, be able to teach you all the radicals, but I'll, I'll give you an idea. I'll show you what they look like when you, instead of from, from one character by itself, to what it looks like with other characters together. So the shape's going to look a little bit different too. So that'll be in about four videos away. Uh, we're about four videos away from that. Four or five. Okay, guys? All right, keep coming back. Let's keep learning, okay? Sai Jian.